partial pressures. The pressure that each gas exerts in a mixture of gases is equal to the pressure that it would exert if it were alone in the container. So each of these gases here has its own pressure. This is a gas mixture of 80% helium and 20% neon. Neon being the gold balls, helium being the silver atoms. Helium has a pressure of 0.8 atmospheres. Neon contributes 0.20 atmospheres. So the total pressure is one atmosphere, 0.8 plus 0.2. The pressure of each gas exerts is equal to the pressure it would exert if it was alone. So Dalton's law of partial pressures is that the total pressure is equal to the sum of all the partial pressures. And this is always at a constant volume and temperature. It assumes that the gases don't react with each other. So the formula is come up with is the pressure total is equal to the partial pressure of the first gas plus the partial pressure of the second gas plus the pressure of the third gas and so on. Okay. So it's as simple as this. There's 0.6 mole of hydrogen here. Hydrogen contributes 2.9 atmospheres of pressure. Here we've got 1.5 mole of helium. The amount doesn't matter. The pressure matters. So it's 7.2 atmospheres plus 2.9 atmospheres, so you get a total pressure of 10.1 atmospheres. You can add the number of moles of the different gas, but as I said, it's these pressures here that are additive. Here's just another calculation here, and it's important to note that you need to have everything in the same unit. So nitrogen is contributing 600.7, oxygen 159.1, and CO2.2. You add them all together and you get 760 millimetres of mercury. So you might get a question like this. In a mixture of gases, the partial pressure of hydrogen is 95 kilopascals, methane 150.0 kilopascals, and carbon dioxide 85 kilopascals. What is the total pressure of the mixture? P total equals P1 plus P2 plus P3. So it equals the pressure of hydrogen plus the pressure of methane plus the pressure of carbon dioxide. So 95 for hydrogen, methane is 150 plus 85 for carbon dioxide. We get a total pressure of 330 kilopascals. Remember, these must be in the same units. So here's a question for you to have a go at. In a mixture of gases, the partial pressure of nitrogen is 0.8 atmospheres, methane is 35 kilopascals, and carbon dioxide is 785 millimetres mercury. What is the total pressure of the mixture in kilopascals? Now remember, everything needs to be in the same unit when you're adding up partial pressure. So you're going to need to convert nitrogen and carbon dioxide to kilopascals. Pause the video, have a go, I'll pop the answer up. So the answer you should have gotten is 220.72 kilopascals. If you've gotten that, fantastic. You don't need to watch any more of the video. I'm just going to run through a work solution now. So, the first thing we need to look at is nitrogen, which is 0.8 atmospheres. And the way that we work that is, is our unknown divided by our known. We work out the ratio times the information we have. So unknown divided by known, which is 101.3 is our unknown. 1 is our known times the information that we have here. And we get an answer of 81.04 kilopascals. That's just nitrogen. Now we need to have a look at carbon dioxide. We don't need to look at methane because that's already in kilopascals. So carbon dioxide, we have 785 millimetres mercury. Kilopascals are our unknown and millimetres mercury are our, are our known. So we use those for the ratio of unknown over known. So 101.3 divided by 760 times the information or the amount that we have which will equal 104.63 kilopascals. Now we know 
all of our pressures in kilopascals. We've just gotten the methane from the question, so we can just add those up. Remember, part or total pressure equals the partial pressure of the other gases, so they just add together to get 220.72 kilopascals.